One family's history in the wine business started during the early days of Prohibition. And all the following generations have continued to follow in their father's and grandfather's footsteps. This morning, Gary's on the go at Lodi's E2 Family Winery for a taste of this award-winning legacy. Good morning, Gary. What, what are you doing? Oh, my goodness. Doesn't that look unbelievable? This is the beginning. This is where it all starts. This is fantastic coming here and learning and doing a lot of drinking as well, too. Well, not a lot. We're just sipping. That's all we're doing this morning. Um, Brent, this is unbelievable. What is going on right here? This is a little fermentation action, right? Yeah, we're making a little bit of a red wine. This is a Primitivo. So we're... Uh, yeah, look at this. It's going through the fermentation process right now, so the way you get color into the red wines is by continually pressing them down into the juice, so that way the juice will extract the color from the skins, and then you get the most purplest wine you can get. I love that. So purple, so deep, so good. All right, uh, let's go back in this way now and check things out. The big event's coming up on Saturday, and uh, Larry, can you get down? There you go. Nice and smooth, nice and easy. We're going to walk in here because I wanted to show you the silo. This is kind of uh, where, where they're all at. They've got all the wines going here in every one of these. They've got their board working to make sure everything's ready to roll. And the event that I mentioned, of course, right there, the Honking Tonk Harvest is going to be on November 5th, which is coming up this Saturday. Big event. It's going to be a lot of fun. How many people are you expecting? Uh, we're are you hoping? Yeah, we're hoping for about 500 to 600 people. So this is going to be like a more of a small, intimate launching event. We're really trying to get this thing noticed, the, the event center that we're hosting out here and having more of these. So we really want to get this introduced to the community and let people know that we're out here and what's going on. So we're doing, we wanted to make it a real small, intimate. Um, all the bands are local bands, um, and we're going to have four of them. So we got Locked and Loaded, Crystal Image, Bobby Zap, Zappi. Yeah. Um, and then we've got Sarah right here who's going to be teaching everyone how to line dance. Teach me how to dance. I like that. Yep. All right, here we go. So let's take a look inside here. What goes on here? You've got, well, you have like 10 of these tanks? Yeah, so we've got 10 tanks. Um, each one of them has got a different wine in it. And the cool part about it is we can actually pour right out of the tank, just like we're, like a tap, so to speak. So well, hold on, I got a little bit left in this. I better finish this one off. There you go. That's the good stuff, too. Yes, so, it is. Okay. All right, so now what are we doing now? Pour it right out of the yeah, tank. Yeah, right out of the tank. So we got 12,000 gallons in here, and we're just pouring it right out of the tank. This is a Chardonnay from Monterey County. Okay, oh, you pour a little in there, okay. Chardonnay from Monterey County. Yep. Okay. This is this is raw juice, so we haven't completely finished it. So we've, this is just Chardonnay. So we kind of do some blending and some tweaking right. to it to kind of fill in the middle. Make what stage would it be at? What stage would it be at right about now? This is um, we're gonna we're getting ready to bottle this, so we're just gonna add a few other varieties just to kind of mellow it out or do some different things. So this got a little acid to it. Oh yeah, it's really yeah, Chris, it's gonna be really fresh. Uh, your stainless steel version of Chardonnay. So yeah, it's making my mouth do yes. that. Yeah, yes. a little pucker up action, which is good. Uh, now, other tanks have other ones in there, not different yeah. flavors. So we got Merlot, we've got Cabernet, we've got Petit Syrah, Petit Verdot, uh, Sauvignon Blanc, and all of these tanks kind of fill the bottling line. So you can see the hose right here goes out to the bottling line that we're bottling wine for. Yeah, so, which we saw earlier, yeah. yeah. So this tank right here, number four, is actually the Cabernet that we're bottling right now on the line. Oh my gosh, that is so great. All right, you got to come on out. If people want to come to this event, they've got to do that. And uh, let me know where, where you're located again, because you've been here for a long time. Yeah, E2 Family Winery. Go to E2FamilyWinery.com. Hit us on Facebook, social media, follow us. We'd love to have you guys out here. Small family operation, five generations. Everybody on the property is a part of the family, um, a true family operation from the start to finish. That's what we love. All right, good luck this weekend. Come on out, enjoy, get some music, get some food, and also some amazing wine. Brent, thanks, thanks so much. Cheers. All right, back to you. All right, cheers, guys. Looks good. We'll see you out in Lodi at E2.